Hi, I'm Andrea Kaysen, one of the professors in elementary and early childhood education. And I'm Heather Pacheco Guffrey, another professor in elementary and early childhood ed. Today we're going to talk to you about an amazing technology called Stream that's available for free and to, available to all BSU faculty through our Office 365. We discovered Stream through looking for a venue to meet a need that we have concerning our teacher candidates who take videos of themselves teaching lessons in the elementary schools and then would like to share these videos in order to receive feedback from their professors and from their peers and even uh, just a place to store those videos so that they can then go back and look at their teaching videos to critique themselves as teachers. As you probably know, anytime you try and have a video of yourself on an iPad or mobile device, it takes up a ton of digital space on the, on the device. So we really needed to get the videos off of the device and also have it put somewhere on a platform that we could actually use to share, as Dr. Kaysen said, with professors, also with peers, and also for the student themselves to access. So Stream was the answer for us. So this technology is accessible by going to the waffle at the top left corner of your Outlook, of your Office 365, when you're visiting that via the internet. So you can't use the Microsoft Outlook app on the computer to get there. So what we have students do is they take their iPad videos and they upload it to Stream. It looks like this. Absolutely, so once the students share their videos to the Stream application, those of us who have access to the videos are able to go back, view the videos, um, and are, can then give our teacher candidates feedback. So again, it's available to anyone who has access to the group. And one of the pluses that we absolutely love about Stream is the ability to set very stringent privacy settings so that only those who are allowed to have access to these videos can see them because we do have children who are in these videos. So what you would do to start off is to establish a group and then invite all students or faculty to the group and then have the students upload their videos. This does take a while, so be patient, but once it's up there, students can delete their videos off of their iPad, their device, to clear that up and then they can access it here. They're the only one who can make any edits to the video. So for example, if student Jane made a video, Dr. Kaysen and I can't edit her video, but we can view her video. In addition to that great plus that Dr. Kaysen mentioned about privacy settings, we also have the opportunity as an author, so the person who posts the video, to create a structure to share the video with others. So rather than just playing the video straight, you can create what's called the table of contents that allows you to select certain portions of the video to share so they don't have people viewing the video don't have to watch everything they can just jump right ahead to the certain sections that the students want to share and personally I think one of the biggest pluses of using stream is that it's intuitive and easy to figure out it took me about three minutes to have it figured out and a video uploaded so in my opinion if I can save myself a couple of minutes of time by not having to investigate at length how to work something I think it's an awesome application we're delighted and we suggest strongly that you try it out too. Thanks. Thank you.